Hi, Jennifer and Cooper here with Buddy Dog Shop. In lieu of the 4th of July weekend, um, knowing things are going to start tonight on Friday night and go all the way through the weekend, because that's how it just happens around here, and um, we wanted to go over a few things with you to keep you, um, you know, prepared for this weekend. Now what I did with Cooper this morning was I took him on a nice long run. Um, it wore him out. He is my super high anxiety dog. Um, he was traumatized when he was a puppy and since then he's just been off the hook. So when I wear him out, nothing really bothers him. So that's one of the first things that I, I love to do with Cooper. Um, the other dogs don't really care too much about fireworks. Well, Rusty, of course, can't hear him, so <laughs> that works for her. But, um, you know, we just know that they're going to be going on all weekend. So tomorrow morning I'll probably take Cooper out again and run him again and, um, you know, let him be worn out. Um, as I said, that's, that's one of the best natural things you can possibly do to, uh, you know, keep your dog calm. Now, anything I tell you, it may not work with your dog. You know, every dog is different, just like every person is different. And you need to... Um, you know, act accordingly. So if wearing your dog doesn't do the trick and they're still hang high anxiety, um, like a few uh, boxer boxers that we know, <laughs> um, then, uh, then there are other alternatives that you can do. Um, but first and foremost, always keep their ID tags and collars on them. Now, we use a Martingale um, collar on all the dogs. We don't use them to walk them. We don't want them to pull and hurt themselves, but we leave it on them as ID. Um, now we have our rabies certificate on there as well as um, their name and phone number so they can talk, contact us right away. Now that's important for a weekend like this because, you know, Cooper, who we have seen can jump pretty high, you know, he might freak out and jump the fence and that would be really scary if he did not have the proper identification on. Now also with our two younger pups, you know, Cooper and Buddy, we have these whistle GPS monitors. Um, they're great. They're trackers and activity monitors. So we can monitor their activity during the day and we can also track them. Now, I know they work really well because um, I run Cooper a lot. Now, I wish I could say I ran Buddy a lot, but Buddy runs a quarter of a mile, finds a patch of grass and rolls. So that's his thing. So he's not my runner. Cooper, he could go, you know, like last year we did the half marathon. He could do it. He just loves to run. So, um, anyway, I was testing it out, and I hit track one day when I was out on my run, and it tracked it to within five feet of the house we were standing in front of. So, I really believe in these. Um, it's a little expensive because of the monthly plan for GPS, but I think it's well worth it. You know, I mean, I'd rather be able to find my dog and know that they can be safe pretty quickly. Um, so, that's just something we do. Now, they're also all microchipped, so always microchip your pets. I know most shelters do, but... You know, that's just one of those things that if somebody finds your dog, they don't have their collar, they've lost this collar, no GPS, no identification, the microchip could bring them home to you. If they don't have that, that dog could end up in shelter and you might never find them. And to us, that is very terrifying because these dogs are our children. And I do everything I possibly can to keep them as safe and protected as I can, just like I would with human children. Um, but these are mine, so this is what I do. Anyway, um, getting back to safety. Now, another thing that um, is good to have um, is a really safe place for them to, to feel safe, that they can go. And this is not just for a weekend like this. This is for any time. Um, Buddy and Cooper have a very, they each have lar their own large kennels, and it's where they eat, so it's somewhere that they love. And um, when we leave the house uh, for our sitter, she actually, it's easier for her to let them out one at a time so they're not in the backyard giving her trouble trying to get back in because all they're doing is playing. So she lets them out one at a time. But it's a good, safe place for them, and they know that. So if we're hanging out watching TV or something, they'll just go lay down in the crate. Um, they know it's a safe zone. So that is important during thunderstorms and firecrackers and things like that. So, and even little Rusty, even though she can't hear the firecrackers, <laughs> She knows she has a safe place in the closet with her own bed. She knows that's hers, um, except when Pixie comes over and steals the bed. <laughs> but anyway, that's a whole other story. Anyway, um, so another thing that you can do um, with your pets is, um, you know, there are a lot of different calming aids out there. Now, Buddy Dog Shop offers a, um, some calming drops and a calming roll-on. It's the same formula, just two different options for um, application. And it's great stuff. It really is. But again, 
each dog is different. So some dogs might not be able to, um, it might not have an effect on them at all. It's a hit or miss with things like that. Um, rescue remedy, you know, all that kind of stuff. It is a hit or miss. You can try it once, it may not work. But give it a chance because stuff like that, um, you know, with buddy dogs, chops, um, calming drops, don't, don't use them just on 4th of July and assume your dog's going to be calm. You have to use them a few days in advance. So I recommend starting tonight. Put a couple drops on the back of their neck and and let them through the weekend, you know, keep using it. Do it every day, twice a day, and by Sunday, maybe, or Monday, you won't have that, that high anxiety threat. You know, it won't be there. Um, so that's a good option, too. You can give that on our website at www.buddydogshop1.com or check us out on Facebook. You can find it the link through there. Um, along with our drops, we also um, recommend maybe a thunder coat. You know, there's so many different options out there, and you just have to find what's best for your pet. And again, don't just try to put it on put it on them on the 4th of July when the firecrackers are going off and they're high strong. You want to give them a few days to get used to it and relax. Um, that's the point of it. So again, try it a few days in advance. Um, now also, I highly recommend for the 4th of July that you leave your pets at home. Dogs don't care about fireworks. They love people, they love being around people in most cases, but they don't need to be at the fireworks show. Leave them at home. The safest place for them is in the air conditioning. Especially this time of year with, you know, potential humidity being so high, heat stroke in dogs if they're not well hydrated. Um, the best, safest place is at home. So please remember that. Um, they don't need to come with you. However much you want to bring them everywhere you go, especially cars and, you know, on hot pavement, just be smart about it. Think about it. If you can't walk on the hot pavement in bare feet, they can't walk on the hot pavement with their bare feet. You know, these little paws are so delicate and precious. Right? Whose paw is this? Does mommy have Cooper paw? I'm going to eat Cooper paw. He's like, no. <laughs> um, so, anyway, those are our, you know, little tips um, for the 4th of July. And, um, you know, as I said, just uh, also, oh, one more thing. Keep water bowls. Keep water bowls full. High anxiety sometimes cases, they will look for their water. They will drink tons of it. So just always keep that full as well, especially on hot days. So, oh, okay, I think we finished. <laughs> anyway, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so please bear with me. Um, you know, I don't read from cue cards, so this all just comes out and uh, as it is. Anyway, um, please be safe. Have a very happy and safe uh, 4th of July weekend. And, you know, if you have any quick questions or you know, um, tips or, or need any more resources. I have plenty of things on the 4th of July and ways to keep your pets um, happy and safe. So check out my Facebook page, um, Buddy Dog Shop with the big paw logo. And, um, and again, we just hope that you all have a happy, happy and safe 4th. So we'll see you next time.